Hi everyone, I'm Zach with Nelly Security, and our goal on this channel is to provide you with the necessary knowledge and help to sell and install great security systems. Today we're going to talk about the Uniview IP loudspeaker, specifically the model IPS 302030-S. One of its many uses is what you actually just saw, active deterrence. But there's a lot of great capabilities, so I'm going to do my best to walk you through everything that it can do. First off, this loudspeaker is, if you can believe it, a loudspeaker. We're talking 130 decibels. Now, if this is too much for your purposes, you're able to turn this down no problem. You can even adjust the volume on the fly. When I connected to my network via Ethernet, I would get an updated audio output with minimal lag. Additionally, this speaker supports two-way audio, so you can hear what's going on from the outside, but you can also live broadcast through your phone using the Uniview Link user app. Another feature that I really enjoy is that while there are set alarms and sounds that come with the speaker, you can also upload your own custom audio files. All right, let's get the speaker set up and see it in action. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got this mic tucked into my front shirt pocket. The plan here is to install the speaker uh, right above me here. So I noticed two things immediately. One is that the holes on this are a little wider than your typical screws. So unless you're going to be using something like some concrete anchors and you're going really intense with your mounting hardware, uh, go ahead and use some washers or something like that. We've got some mounting brackets that we're going to be using, so we'll be all right. But something to keep in mind. The other thing is make sure you have an Allen wrench on hand to get rid of these guys. Uh, loosen this up, take these completely off. So you can mount this handle first. It's a little hard to get a screwdriver inside there. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go and put this up here and we'll talk about uh, what these guys are. With the speaker installed, we're going to go ahead and plug in the Ethernet cable to go ahead and power it up and get it connected to the network. The speaker also comes with a power cable directly, but we're gonna skip over that because we have PoE. The speaker also has an alarm input cable. This is so you can directly wire it to an alarm system. We have an NVR, so we aren't gonna need to use that either. Now let's take a look at the configurable settings and get it hooked up to the NVR. So in order to get to the web interface, first, you're going to need to find the IP address of this speaker. If you're not familiar with this process, we're going to use the Easy Tools app because this is a Uniview product. So find the IP address with Easy Tools, then enter the address in the web search bar. The default username is admin, all lowercase, and the password is going to be 123456. All right, so now we're in the web interface for this IP speaker. I'll briefly go through the options available to you here and we'll kind of see what we're able to do. So starting off, we've got the system tab. This is where you can name the device on your network, set the time, even account for daylight savings. And also you can add a level of security in two ways. One, you can create a dynamic factor key for SSH or secure shell protocol. The other way is that you can enable an HTTPS page and generate a valid certificate for the encryption there. Network is where you can manually assign an IP and port if you don't have DHCP enabled or if you have a specific IP and port that you've already designated for this. You can also handle any necessary port forwarding or port mapping in this section as well. Audio is where you can adjust the volume level of your input and output. This is also the spot to upload custom MP3 files for any sounds. You can record your own voice for PSAs, add custom alarm sounds, or even upload a song. The alarm tab is where you can configure the directly wired setup if you're using that. This is what I kind of talked about earlier with those alarm input cables. Since we'll configure that through the NVR, we're actually just going to leave that there. The broadcast tab is where you can schedule out your broadcasts, when will they happen, the specific intervals, and on which days. And finally, the maintenance tab is going to be for any updates and diagnostic info. With the speaker configured to our liking, we can jump into the NVR setup to link it to the rest of our system. The speaker will be added in the peripherals IP speaker tab. Simply enter that IP address again and use the username and password from the interface. If you've changed it, it'll be whatever that new username and password is. At the top, there's also an audio file tab, and that is another place you can upload custom sounds to. 
In the alarm section, make sure you determine the detection mode and watched areas for the camera you want connected to the speaker. We can use the built-in AI to detect human motion only, so that way the speaker scares the intruder out there and alerts us in here. The Trigger Actions tab is where you can determine how the system responds to intrusion events. Choose the Alarm Sound option and click the cogwheel. This takes you to a drop-down menu of available sounds to choose from. And lastly, make sure you have your camera chosen in the Recording column, so that way it's easier to go back and find the footage of the intrusion event. So, we've got it all set up. Let's double check and make sure our system is completely up and running. Stop. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Right foot, left stop. Left foot, left stop. Cha-cha, real smooth. like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something about this speaker. And if you think it's perfect for your setup, we've got a link in the description down below and it'll take you right to it on our website. We'll see you next time.